Yes, what will we have next? What will it be? It's a microwave. What will it be now? Let's see. What will it... Oh, the bed. Who I hear you say. Go, go. What's the next one? What is this one? Oh, a table. Wow, wow. Let's hear. What is the next one? Uh, table again. Oh, let's see. What is this one? Oh, a television. Let's see. What is that? It's a sofa. Yes, you guessed it. It is a Wheel of Fortune. And today, I will show you how to make this game in PowerPoint. So, let's go. Welcome to the lesson, Home Sweet Home. And as we, as you saw in the beginning, let's make this spinning wheel game. Okay, first of all, you can see I have prepared all of the pictures that I want to use in the spinning wheel game. And then I just placed them off of the slide. We're gonna work on the slide and let's get into that. Before we start, as you can see, I've got these buttons. Have a look at my video on how to make these buttons and also have a look at my, how to customize your quick access toolbar so that you can know how I get to all of my, uh, how do I get to these buttons so fast. So. As always, if you want to insert a shape, normally you would go to insert, uh, go to shape, and then you would select the circle. We would start with that, and then hold shift to drag it bigger. Uh, we just wanna move that to the middle. And let's see, how big do we want this wheel? We can make this wheel about that big. That'll be perfect. Uh, so we can make it smaller or however we want to a bit later. But let's start with that. Now, the next one I want to do is insert a rectangle shape, but a very thin, long rectangle shape. Uh, so make a long one like that. Press center and center so that we have it in the middle of the circle. That will be our first dividing line. Now, press control D to duplicate that. Center and center and then hold Alt down and press the right key. Uh, you will see that that will spin the, uh, that will spin this all the way around. So we are making the segments of the game. Uh, now, next one, uh, I want that one about there. So press Control D again. Uh, now press Alt, hold down Alt and go right and right. So we will make six parts. So let's just see. Uh, we can make that one over there. Select this one. Just make it one further. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And cool, there we've got the six parts. For now, I am just going to delete these buttons. Uh, it's just so that I don't select them in the rest of making this game. I can always just copy them from any of my other slides. Press Control A. <coughs> oh, okay. Let me just zoom out and then select everything on the slide. Okay, if everything is ready, I can go to shape format, merge shapes, and then fragment. What that does is it creates these nice pizza slices, <laughs> or uh, as you will, just the fragments that we will be using. Something that is cool now, uh, select, hold control down, and then you select all of the pizza slices, and right click and cut. So right click and cut, and you'll see it takes all of that away. Now select everything that is left on the slide. Let's just take the table away. Take that one away a bit further. Uh, select everything on the slide and delete that so that there's nothing on the slide. Now press Control V to paste all of this back and you'll see there we have the basis of this game, the fragments, the places where the pictures will go. So now change the color to each one of these. Select one, go to shape format, change shape full to yellow. Uh, you can make these colors whatever colors you like or whichever color you want. Uh, let me change that one to red maybe. Get this one, make it exciting colors, make it all sorts of colors of the rainbow. Uh, let me just change this one to purple and let's get this one to black. That'll be okay. Now something else, uh, let's just select all of them again. Uh, let's control that one, that one, and I just want to make no outline to all of them so we only have the colors. Okay, very important to note. Now we are ready to put the pictures on each of these sizes. So let's just zoom, bring one by one, resize them a bit smaller. Uh, okay, before we do that, let's just select every one of these and send them to the back. So select all of the pizza slices again right click and send to the back okay now when you bring your pictures they will be at the front very important to do that okay put 
each one of them there. Uh, now we can just bring them closer and resize them. Okay, now as you can see, what you want to keep in mind is that as the wheel will be turning, obviously your pictures will be turning as well. And we will put the winning side on the right. So let me do that by inserting a, 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 a triangle and turning that to the right. Okay, that will be our winning side. Let me just change this color. I can make that one. Let's make it something. Um, hmm. You can make it anyone, but let's just leave it at a yellow. Let's make it orange. We don't have orange here, so I think the orange one will be cool. And then no outline as well. So keeping that in mind, you want to move all of the pictures closer and make sure that they are tilted to the right angle. So you can do that by holding Alt, pressing left, and you will see. There we go. That one is right. We can move it a bit in. You can use your arrow keys to move it a bit, to move it perfectly. Let's bring the sofa. Uh, the sofa must be upside down because this is the other side of the of this one. It's still way too big. Uh, okay, let's bring it in a bit more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now microwave. Come here. Turn that one upside down. Get it much smaller. Get it there. I know it looks a bit small, but you'll see as we when we play it on the screen, it actually it works nice, as you saw in the intro. So don't just make sure it fits nicely. Uh, and we can always resize them later if it doesn't look very if you don't if you want to make it bigger or smaller. So now just get the bed in there. Um, and the bed you want to turn all the way like that. Get the bed. And there we are. So, also remember that you can insert text here, you can insert pictures, you can insert anything you want. You will follow the exact same steps as I'm doing now. So now, just move that away, then I want to select everything on this slide. So, actually we can delete this one for now. Press Control A, and then press Control G. This will make all of these one group. The reason for that is we will be working with all of these together from here until the end. So it's important to set up your fragments first, your pizza slices, if you will, and then uh, grouping that with either your pictures or your words or whatever you decided to put on the wheel of fortune. Okay, let me just put back the, uh, the triangle here. Uh, the triangle will be very important. You'll see it later why. Uh, that will be the button that we'll press that will be where we start this triangle and let it stop. You want to come to shapes and select a hollow circle. Hold shift and drag the circle bigger than your spinning wheel of fortune. Uh, it's just okay. Then you can make that center and center. And in the middle, you'll see that there's a button. Uh, click that and drag it all the way to the outside. You can make it a bit bigger or a bit smaller. I usually just make it a bit like that it works better let me just resize this a bit hold shift make it drag it down now just center it again and you'll see that it actually fits into the screen now okay that's perfect right there uh, now what next thing we want to do is we want to add some blinkering some lights to the outside go to shapes again uh, add an oval and hold shift and click it right there that take the outline away and then hold shift and make it smaller this light you want to change the color to white and then shape effect you want to do that and you want to make the edges soft uh, let's do it like that or we can actually add a glow let's add a glow to that one add something like a uh, I want to add a white color so let's add a white well, yeah, white color to that one. There we are, and we've got the light. Also, what you want to do now at this point is you want to add the animation. Uh, not the okay, you want to add the animation. Uh, you want to go to add animations, go to more emphasis effects, and then you are looking for the color blink. Uh, let's just see over there at the bottom, it's exciting. You click on blink, okay, say okay, and you will see that one is ready. Okay, also I want to see my animation pane. Oh, again, just re referencing, I use my quick access toolbar a lot. Have a look at my how to 
customize your quick access toolbar that will show you how to get all of these buttons here very fast and to make it very easy for you to make these presentations okay now coming over here to the animation pane you want to right click and go to timing here you want to change that to 0.5 seconds and you want that to repeat until next click okay then you can just say okay leave that that will make sense a bit later and then you want to add this light all over so you want to add them here here you can put them wherever you like uh, I just I like putting them here you'll see a little bit later they create quite a nice effect uh, what I'm doing is I'm holding control and then selecting it uh, selecting one and dragging it away that means you can that copies this so I can make a lot of them <laughs> as you can see there okay that's just a cool other trick okay so let me just see so if we play the presentation now and I press any key well all of them will blink at their own so okay wait let's just go back there and okay what I also want to do is I want to click select all of them and I want to say start with previous we need to make the button that we want to press to make the wheel spin so and that will be this triangle right click on this and say bring to the front move it in place uh, I like to so we won't use this light we can delete that light uh, move it in place over here uh, put it in the center you can just click it right there that is in the center right there come to home up here and then select a uh, select pane okay now you can see it says uh, triangle something something what we want to do is rename that as start button and press enter okay we can close the selection pane and then click on the group the circle the wheel in the middle click on animations and add the spinning animation okay that is good now right click on group 16 and go to timing what you want to do is your duration you want to change that to one second it's fast but it's not too fast and also you want to come down to triggers and then select start effect on the click of and look for your start button okay that will be your start button okay what that does is if you click the triangle it's going to start the spinning so you'll see there we go and it can spin again and spin again but now you'll see it goes to the same one all the time okay now let's solve that select the group wheel in the middle again and add another animation appear the first one over here to appear you also want to right click on the animation go to timing from here you want to also add the trigger to start on the uh, to start effect on the start button say okay and now when we run the animation shh, it will work <laughs> okay so as you can see there we go it is flashing lights and it is stopping there we go so we've got a table and then we can go to the next one television and that is how you make a spinning wheel of fortune thank you so much for watching subscribe leave me a comment uh, and enjoy making your spinning wheel of fortune i will see you in the next one goodbye